this is your boy Q5 Big Smoke. Why they call me Big Smoke? Cause I am Big Smoke. You dig? And look yo, today I'm gonna react to two polarizing entities that's on the internet. You know what I'm talking about? None other than DJ Academics and Andrew Tate. Yo, these two individuals are wild and turn up. So perfect personalities match my personality. Let's see what these boys are talking about. I don't know what they're talking about right now, but we're gonna see what they're talking about. I listen to a lot of shit you're saying. I'm like, yo, this guy's been facts. But I'm like, man, this guy might be radioactive, though. Bro, all right, let me ask you a question, right? Let's say you meet a beautiful young 19-year-old woman. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's 19. She's got a low body count. You're the second man she's ever going to have slept with in her oh, life. Oh, by the way, she's here's the funny thing. Yep. So there's a new thing that they're, they're even starting to say. Yep. Even hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can just pause right there. Did this nigga just say, I'm going to sleep with... A 19-year-old, Andrew Tate, you just said you're going to sleep with a 19-year-old? Let, let me not uh, draw too many conclusions. Let's, 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 let's keep, uh, keep it rolling. How old is Andrew Tate? I got to find that out. How old is Andrew Tate? Even though, as the older you get, the age gap between relationships, and especially marriage, happens to be about 10 years. Yeah. If you are like 30 and you get with a 19 year old, they're, they're, they're saying that you has there's some issue wrong with you. Yeah, that's you know why? Because women who are older, who are 25 and 26, haters. who you're looking be beyond, they're saying, wait, wait, you're 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 not con contemplating us, you're looking to younger. Yeah. You're they can't call you a pedophile, so there's something wrong with you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Man, that's and that really is a good example of how when you travel the world, that's that's pure Western bullshit, bro. Really? You go, bro, you go to Moscow, you walk in the club, there's a 60-year-old mafia boss surrounded by 18-year-old girls. Bro. Really? Oh yeah, all day. It's completely normal. All right, hold on, hold on. The age gap. He's speaking about a uh, 30-year-old with a 19, 20-year-old. Uh is that sufficient? In relative time, it depends on their state of mind. In today's uh, time, it depends on their state of mind. Because even at 30 years old, some people ain't even trying to settle down. At 19 years old, some people ain't trying to settle down. Some people just want to play. You know what I'm saying? Some people just want to do what they do for the night or do what they do for a couple of weeks and have a little time, you know, with each other and enjoy each other's company. You know what I'm talking about? So, I can say that Mm, in relative time, I don't think that one fly, you know, you're saying in regards to uh, age group 30, 19, whatever, they grown. That's my output and my outlook on it, you know, you're saying in regards to age group. Completely. Wait, Every the six year old, he's not with 30 year old chicks. No, fuck, fuck no, he's rich. <laughs> <laughs> think he's picking up some used up pussy he's rich no bro used up pussies for the broke boys but like, you know he ain't playing those games he wants it fresh and this is the thing about you the thing about youth is this the thing about youth is this though it's not just the fact it's not just the fact that the breeding age but you know let me tell you something about younger girls yo yo how do you get bitches saying this shit man <laughs> yo let me tell you this let me tell you this you know the most sensitive thing about women aging Yep. You start mentioning age. Oh, it hurts them. That's true. It hurts them. You meant, yo, if, if there was 15 chicks in here yep. and you, you say, hey, the, the mob boss who's 60, he wants the, the bitch who's 19 years yep. old. You know what? Everybody who's even 22, they start tightening up. Yep. They're like, yep. because women are so, they're always playing the clock game, even though, even if they don't acknowledge it. Yep. They're always thinking, it's true, I'm man. not. Am I over the hill or or yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or I'm still okay? I've got exactly. time. I've got time. Yeah. And when you start saying that, that's when I've heard women say, right? They're like, yo, it's disgusting if a guy who's 28 wants to fuck with a girl who's 20. Cope. Cope, cope, cope. Bro, the reason, you know the you know the you know me personally, right? So I won't date a girl who's older than 25. And that's not even about <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I won't. I won't. Bro, I'm 30, I'm 35 and I got more millions than my fucking age. I'm playing games, right? So I get to choose what, what I fucking did this want. Nigga just say he won't date a girl that's older than 25. Yo, we gotta find out how old is Andrew Tate. Yo, he won't date a girl that's older than 25. We gotta find out how old is Andrew Tate. What's up with this dude mentality? Like 
yo, <laughs> I ain't gonna go too far into his mindset and try to figure out what the fuck he got going on. <laughs> but I'm gonna just stay in my lane right here. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, we gotta figure out how old is Andrew Tate. This nigga that won't date no woman that's older than 25. Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Bro, I won't. I won't. Bro, I'm 30, I'm 35 and I got more millions than my fucking age. I'm playing games. Age. I'm playing. All right. We just answered that question. He 35. 35. <laughs> 35 years old. And he won't date no woman older than 25. That's crazy. You would think that he would think date 25 and up. You know, closer to his age group. But, hey, look. I ain't going to draw no conclusions, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to create no type of hypothesis right now. All I can do is let the man speak and we're going to see what he's talking about. <laughs> That's crazy. Right? So I get to choose what I fucking want. Yeah, and the guy, reason, and the, I'll take me to the reason. Why won't you do it? Because people will say, oh, you, you're a pervert. Let me tell you the actual reason. It's nothing to do with the fact that she's more fertile and I can easily knock her up. It's nothing to do with the fact that even she's better looking because there's some beautiful girls who are older. Yeah. But the younger a girl is, the less bullshit she's been through with men and the softer she is as a person. Mm. The problem is when you get a girl who's 30, how many dicks have been through her? And I'm not even worried about the dicks <laughs> been through her. How many times has her heart been broken? How many times she had arguments that she's jaded? It's hard to get some genuine feminine softness out of a woman who's 30 and single. She's been through yeah, the fucking to track. She's been through too much. We talk about, bro, we talk about a man's been through trauma. Any bitch that's 30 and single's been through it. She's fallen in love. She's been cheated on. She got fucking uh, eloped on. Uh, dude disappeared she on the probably, wedding. She probably thought she was going to have a kid and be married by oh, 28. Yeah. This boy, wow. <laughs> and what y'all think? <laughs> this guy said, anybody that's 30 and single been through it. If she 30 and single, she been through it. What y'all think? Is that relevant? If she 30 and single, she been through it. She got too much mileage on her. So his mentality is he's 35, right? He ain't considering the mileage that he put on himself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because his mindset is one way. You know what I'm talking about? He ain't considering the mileage that he put on himself. All the girls that he running through and putting mileage on his body. And putting different different uh, chemical mixes inside his body. You see what I'm saying? Because once you yoke, you yoke. Because that's a chemical bond. You see what I'm saying? But look, yo. Hey. This boy here, wow. 30 is too much mileage. That means, look, yo. Women, according to Andrew Tate, ain't no women that's over 30 should get no dick. Ain't no woman over 30, according to Andrew Tate. Should ever have a man again if you, if every man in the world adopt his mentality. This cat's wild. Let's see what he's talking about. Yeah. So now she's two years past yeah. that and she's frustrated. She's pissed. <laughs> the guy she thought it was going to be with fucked her sister. She's upset at life. <laughs> And, and when she gets with you, you're just another one. Of, you're a man too. That, and they're, yeah. a bit, they're a bit angry. Yeah. You get the young one. Well, she had her heart broken once. I was like, yeah, it's because he's a boy. He ain't with a man yet. Oh, okay, good, okay, good, okay. good. Yeah, I love you. It's a happier experience. It's not even about how they look. Okay. My point is, so this is why I like younger women. Yo, yo. They're not jaded. All right, okay. So, so let me ask you this question. Like, I ask you a question. Sure. So, this and, what... and, so sorry to interrupt you. And, and what, what's going to happen is when people see this, there's always going to be some old hoe going. When I say old, I mean like 28. She'll be sitting there going, <laughs> <laughs> you're not a real man because you're a real man. You can handle a strong woman. Da, da, da. Yeah. You know what? I don't even talk to old hoes. So don't even fucking tell yo. me because I don't care what you think because I don't want you. So just you think what yo. you want over there. Yo, but here's the thing. And I think this is why. So crazy. <laughs> Andrew Tate I quote Andrew Tate I don't talk to old hoes. <laughs> this boy Wallet. <laughs> this man said, I don't talk to old hoes. And look here. We're going to let him do his thing, man. <laughs> I think women are looking if they're listening to this and they're hearing what you're saying they're like fuck if you're saying that like at 28 if we haven't gotten some shit already locked down we might be a little fucked up you're basically saying we lost the DNA lottery because like so now this is why they're going to say misogynistic right they're like because we weren't born a male we just we're, we're so we're so disadvantaged yeah, this cat right here, wild boy. I'm telling you, 
This cat right here is wild. Hey, all I got to say is in regards to age group, to each his own. If you have legal, legal consent and you want to date whoever you want to date, hey, to each his own. If you have legal consent, you know what I'm talking about, and you it, you grown, do what you do, however you do it, with whoever you do it with. Shit, ain't none of my business, you dig? In the meantime, between time, academics, yeah, yeah. You all right with me, Pimpin. Andrew T, boy, you wild. <laughs> but you alright with me too, Pepe. <laughs> this cat, wow. Look ya, this boy Q5 Big Smoke turning out and burning out. You dig? In the meantime, between time, y'all holding down like a tree root. <laughs>